Travel Rick on Tour. Welcome back to our channel. It's April 2022. And where are we today? Well, we're on Naklua Road, or the ties call it Naglia Road. I did a bit of filming here a while ago of a hotel. And I'm just doing some updates now. I'm going to show you some nice little hotels around the area. This is quite a nice area to stay if anyone's interested. It's just off Dolphin Roundabout. There's everything here, Family Mart. Now this new hotel here, I filmed a while ago. And it's got a car park down the bottom, shopping centre, and it's also then got a hotel. Well, we was up quite a way a while ago. I've been looking at it over the last few weeks and I've noticed they've gone up another four more floors in just over three weeks. I'll show you in a minute. It's gorgeous around here. And over there, there's electric cables, as you can see. But this side, they removed them all. All the electric cables are gone. So it's nice they're actually putting all the cables underground. Look at the size of this place. Still got a crane on the top. But this is going to be huge. And it's not that far from Terminal 21. They're banging up these hotels and shopping centres everywhere. Right, let's go and have a little look here. So this is on Naglia Road, Naklua. Right, let's have a little drive down here. There's some lovely properties down here. Some nice hotels, and there's a lot of expensive ones as well. Four and five star hotels. So if you want somewhere to stay, it's really nice. Then down here is ideal. Alright, let's have a little nosy in here, shall we? Do you a little update. I've been watching this building for quite a while. But it's really flying up now. Look at the size of it. So it's going to be a shopping centre. With food courts and everything else in there. They're putting all the cladding up now. Painting it, so it's only a matter of time now. I don't know why there's so many shopping centres and hotels being built around Pattaya and Naklua and Dolphin Roundabout area. But they're obviously hoping for all the tourists to come back soon to spend all their Thai bat, which they've saved up for. This is really nice around here, it really is. I love it. Look at this. So down the bottom there is a car park, as I showed you before in a previous video. And you've got the shopping centre, a nice big hotel as well. Well, there you are. As you can see, they've gone up another four more flights. They're really firing it up now. It's about 34 degrees again here today, with a fill factor of 38. Bit muggy. The skies are nice and blue. You see a few clouds in the sky, but they're not rain clouds. And it's nice around here. This is a beach garden resort, another nice place to stay. I've checked it out once before, really nice. Right, let's go for a little ride around on the motorbike now and show you a little bit more of some of the resorts around here. We've got a place down here called The Cove, I'm going to show you in a minute. And Prima, five star hotel. It's a little bit further down, look at all the greenery, all the trees. It's lovely, it really is. Naglia is quite a nice peaceful place to stay and it's on a back bus route to get into the main Pattaya. Look at this. So you've got Prima on the left hand side, big five star, and a bit further down you've got the cove. Isn't that nice? So these hotels are just tucked away everywhere. And you can see the sign there on the right, the cove. That's that big one right down the bottom there on the right. As you can see, it's greeting you with a nice big waterfall. They don't come cheap. This is a sort of posh area of Pattaya. But well, we're checking it out. Isn't that nice? Yeah, they're removing these electric cables now all over the place. So you're seeing one side of the road's got electric cables and the other side of the road, they're all gone. It's about time. They spent the last few years now removing all these cables, they are real eyesore. 
so yeah I'll do some more updates on this hotel I'm not sure what it's called they've got no signs up yet and the shopping centre but yeah this place is also well worth checking out right in front of us now a beach garden resort you can get something to eat accommodation and they do some real good meals in there as well Thai food and English food right let's go down here I love going around on a motorbike because you can cover quite a lot more. Thank you for the nice comments on the previous videos. I'm glad you enjoyed the OK Metro ones, the Soy Lanky, Soy Bacal, and also lots of you enjoyed the video I did of the scooter bar in Soy Bacal and asking me for some more bar videos. Well, I will be doing some more for you very soon. And this nice around here. Well, we're just going to go right down the bottom here now. I'll show you. There's a big hotel here on the left hand side a while ago when they was doing all the quarantine. It's a budget price hotel. But they were doing quarantine there. There's the Emerald Beach Hotel there, which is owned by the LK Group. The same people that own the LK Princess bit of luxury this is doesn't come cheap and they also own the LK group and all around LK Metro isn't that nice I've actually been in this hotel it is really really posh in there but it comes at a price but as you can see there's hardly anyone around at the moment we need more tourists to start coming back and filling up Pattaya it's desperate times here Covid has really had a knock-on effect here, I can tell you. And everybody is struggling, especially all the businesses. Half the hotels are empty. Right, it's this one here on the left-hand side. This is a quarantine hotel. Best Bella Pattaya. It's cheap, it's cheerful. There's nothing much to look at. But this is where people were having to stay for their 14-day quarantine. This was just one of them. I stayed in the O2 in... Bangkok that was quite nice actually a little bit more upmarket than this one as you can see this one's a little bit run down but it did the job for anyone who wants to stay in there for a 14 day quarantine but that's all over now and there's another one here as you can see a Bella Villa Metro these are all older hotels they need refurbing but they're cheap and cheerful. Right, we're gonna go down here. And this leads us on to Dolphin Roundabout where Terminal 21 is. I've done many a video. So as you can see, all these hotels and shopping centers are very close. And just across the road from Terminal 21, there's another new shopping center. Why so many shopping centers, I don't know. And if, you, if you've ever been inside Terminal 21, it's huge it's amazing look at all these hotels in the distance they're just banging them up everywhere all we need now is a tourist to fill them up so i think it will come in time right this is just coming out onto terminal 21 which is this is well known as dolphin roundabout and terminal 21 is on the right hand side you can't mistake it you see all the massive airplanes if you've not been in terminal 21 check it out because they do some real cheap budget food in there you can get a rice dish with prawns for about 22 baht so it really is cheap but look at it they are hotel on there grand central hotel on the top of terminal 21 well now i hope you like these videos if you did please give it a thumbs up it helps me a lot please share with your friends you can share as much as you want on social media that also helps me out and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe let's get the subscribers up we're well over 20,000 now that also helps me out anyway this is travel rick stay safe and i will see you in another video somewhere in pattaya very very soon take care bye for now <laughs>